Hello everyone and welcome to another one man stream Q&A. Today's question actually came to us uh, again from a comment on the YouTube channel. Uh, the comment is from Jose Belial. In response to the news ticker that I created a, a couple tutorials ago, he said, yeah, that's really nice, but that's not exactly what I wanted. He was more looking for a, a newsroom lower third, uh, something that had a ticker on it. So this is what I came up with uh, for today's tutorial. And as you can see on the very bottom line, uh, there is a scrolling text. And this is more detailed information about what is happening above it. And above it is the breaking news. You can see where this says text middle row and then next to it it says very important breaking news uh, and then underneath of it scrolling upward is information pertaining uh, to this breaking news and then up here in the top uh, left you can see the red uh, breaking news uh, text and uh, that's going to be the focus of today's episode. So, today's episode is One Man Stream Q&A episode 93 and it's a newsroom style ticker and we'll have this and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. So to start off with we're gonna take you to GT Title Designer and this is what the project looks like in GT Title Designer and it's actually a very a very simple uh, project that we're doing today. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this bottom ticker and I'm going to come up here to where it shows the rectangle box. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to draw us out a long rectangle box and I'm going to have it the entire length of this palette here. So I'm going to extend both ends until it goes from one end of the layout to the other. So then let's go ahead and bring it down. So I'm just going to grab it and bring it down a little bit and I'm going to put it right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a gradient. Well, you can't tell it a whole lot because this is yellow, but this is a gradient that we made. So we're going to go up here under color, under fill. We're going to click on it and come down here to where it says gradient. And then we're going to add us in four stops. So I click the add stop button four times. And what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use different shades of yellow. So let's click on these three buttons here. The first yellow we're going to use is this one right here and click OK. We're also going to put this on the other end. Click OK. Then this next yellow right here, we're going to use this one. Click OK and we're going to put the same one on this end point right here. And then these two most inner ones we're going to use this yellow right here and it's kind of a, a yellowish maybe a yellowish orange and this may not look exactly uh, like the one in the demo but uh, you'll get an idea of what we're doing let's hit apply and I kind of like that but I want to stretch out the um, the orange this right here I want to stretch this out a little bit more so let's slide this one down, click on it, slide it down, slide this one down, click on this one to the right, the inner right, and then click on this one and slide it down. And let's hit apply and see what that looks like. And I like that a lot better. So we're going to keep with that and we're going to click OK. Now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to bring in this bottom background logo right here. So again, we go up to the rectangle box. I'm going to draw out a little rectangle. And you've seen me uh, do this before, but I'm going to show you one more time. Let's click on the, the rectangle that we just made and go up here under Format. And we can see that it's 72. So let's go ahead and make this one 72. Well, it turns out that it is 72. That's awesome. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to make this one my favorite. This is the gray gradients that I, I like to use so much. So we're going to click on Home, go to Fill, back to Gradient. Let's add us four stops again, three, four. Scoot them out. And uh, this gray configuration is probably my favorite. So we're going to click on the one at the far left end. Click the two dots here. And we're going to come to this gray right here. It's the darkest of these three grays here in this first row. So we're going to click OK and we're going to do the exact same thing to the other end. And then we're going to go with the darker gray on the next two inner endpoints. So that one to the left, this one to the right. 
And then the two in the middle, we're going to use that lightest shade of gray here in this row. Click OK, and then let's click Apply. And I really like how that looks. It gives it more of a rounded uh, feel to this object. Instead of being a flat object, it adds a little three-dimensional effect to it. And I like this a lot, and I use it an awful lot. So let's click on where it says Rectangle 2. And now, since we clicked on the menu bar, I can use my arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust it. So let's bring it down. I think that's pretty good. And let's, now let's bring it over to the left. Now what I'm going to also show you how to do in this tutorial is, after we've created this, and you can see a little bit of yellow showing at the top, so I'm going to click on the menu bar again, click my up arrow once, and that looks perfect. But also in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, put in the ticker animation uh, after we bring this graphic into vMix. And I'm also going to show you how to tweak the settings uh, using vMix Title Editor. Let's go ahead and add our ticker in. So we're going to click right here, this ABC that has the arrows at each end. That's the ticker. So we're going to click on it. And then we're going to go ahead and bring our ticker in. And we're going to stretch it the entire length and then we're going to bring it down and we're going to make sure that it's right at the edges of this because the effect that we're looking for is we're looking for we're going to have a scrolling up in this and the effect that we're looking for is it's going to begin right as soon as it opens into this yellow field and it's going to end when it gets to the top of this yellow field so that's the effect that we're looking for so what we're going to do is we're going to center the text in the middle left and right and in the middle up and down and I do like the aerial, but I'm going to make it a demi-bold. And we can live with that. I'm also going to make sure that the far left end, uh, I actually pull it all the way to the end because I want it to make it look like it's disappearing right when it gets to this point right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a logo. When we do that, we click on this image button. And uh, let's see, the image I used was right here. So I'm going to click on the image and click OK. And it comes in very big. So I'm going to drag one corner. And I'm going to keep dragging it until I have an, an image that I can deal with. Something that's going to fit in that space. And I think this might. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the menu bar, drag it over. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys to position it on that background. So we're going to leave it right there. Now the next thing we're going to do is the area above it, which I call the middle gray rectangle. So we're going to go up here to the rectangle button. Again, we're going to draw us out one that's a little bit bigger. And we're going to make sure it extends all the way to the end on both sides. And then we're going to do a gradient with this as well. So I'm going to go over up here under Color, click Fill, click Gradient. And I'm just going to add three stops this time. And this is the way we're going to space them out. So these two on the end, we're going to do a very light gray. And then these three middle ones, we're going to do this shade of gray right here. And then click Apply. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for this light edge, and then I'm looking for this gray part right here. Well, evidently, I have these two close together. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit, and I'm going to pull this out a little bit, and then I'm going to hit, hit Apply. And that's looking better, but this one here I want to pull out even more. So I'm going to slide this one over to the right, hit Apply, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click OK. Now, the next component that we have to put in here is we have to put the, uh, the second ticker. So we're going to go back up here again to this other ABC block that says Ticker. We're going to click on it, and we're going to draw us a ticker the entire length of this rectangle. 
this is the breaking news area so we want this one to be bigger than the other one so again we're going to format it to where it's going to be in the middle left to right in the middle up and down and we're going to make the text quite a bit bigger so let's go ahead and we're going to shoot for 72 and see what that does for us and again we're going to stick with the aerial but we're going to make it demi bold and i like that so we're going to leave that right where it's at so now all we have to do is put in this element right here which is the breaking news so we're going to make us one more rectangle let's make it about this size i'm going to click on the menu bar hit the arrow key and move it over just a smidge and then i'm going to go up to color fill gradient and you can see we have red with a little bit of black hair on the end and you can see that i've taken the alpha down a little bit because you can start to see the background uh, colored squares that we use for our backdrop when we're creating these graphics so let's try to duplicate that so we're going to add in one two three stops one there one here one here we're going to leave all of these this red color for right now this one right here on the very right far end we're going to click on it we're going to make it black and the opacity is at 167 right now let's see what that looks like for us and i kind of like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lighten up the top just a smidge because i want to get that rounding effect if i can so i'm going to click on this go back to these and that's darker i'd like to make it lighter and click ok apply ok and i kind of like that so all we have to do now is we need to bring in the breaking news text so we go back up to the abc click on it draw us out a large text block this time we are going to make the text white but we're going to center it in the middle left to right in the middle up and down under fill color we're going to come here and click white under uh, Arial, under the font type we're going to come down here and we are going to make this one no we're not we're going to make this one demi bold as well and we're going to make the size of it let's see what 72 does for us kind of like that so we're going to double click in here and we're just going to type breaking news that's actually too big so let's drop the font size down to 60 there we go and now we've got breaking news so you can see that this bottom one is pretty similar to this middle one i mean the colors are a little bit different but you can see that the uh the techniques uh, that we used in order to create these so now i'm going to save this one file save as and i'm going to call this newsroom ticker demo i'm going to put it with my onedrive and i'm going to put it with the rest of my vmix graphics and click ok and we're going to go ahead and bring our new graphic in this spot in this area right here so i'm going to click add input i'm going to come down here to title click on the recents tab and then i'm going to bring in this one right here click ok and you can see right here is the new the new title that we just created but nothing's going on well the reason nothing's going on is we haven't set it in motion yet so we have to come down here and we have to start it so let's go ahead and click this and now you can see the text start coming over one thing i want to make sure is i have the arrangement the way that i want it to look so i'm waiting for this uh, text bottom row to get over here to where the image is and it should disappear like it's going into that image and it does so i really really like that and then the same thing let's look at this one up here the one we just created let's bring that on over and that looks like it's doing what we wanted to do as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the title editor all i did was right click uh, on the preview window i'm going to select title editor and then under here where it says ticker one this is the bottom text okay 
So what I'm going to put in here, I'm just going to type some things. I'm going to put uh, detailed information. And then I'm going to double space and I'm going to put eyewitness reports, double space, and then on location reporter. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this clock and when I do it brings up ticker setting. So I'm going to click on this. Well this bottom one, the direction I want it to do is up. I want it coming or actually top. I actually want it coming from the bottom to the top. And the speed, if I leave it at one, it's going to be way too fast. And just by fiddling around with this, I know the speed that works pretty well. And I'm going to put 0 0.2 in here and click OK. Now I'm going to click X. And in this top one here, you can see where it's coming from the bottom to the top and it's kind of disappearing behind the second uh, bit of the lower third that we created, which is exactly what we want. On location reporter, detailed information. Now, the reason those are back to back is because I didn't hit, um, I needed to hit a double space after this one. And then now it's going to leave the space in between. Detailed information. Eyewitness reports, on location reporter, and then it leaves that space in between and it starts over with detailed information. So that's exactly what we're wanting. Let's go to this next piece of information. Oh, one thing I do want to show you is down here on, uh, uh, on the cog, one thing I want to make sure is clicked is automatically restart with transition, which means everything is going to start um, the one ticker is going to start all the way to the right and the other one's going to start from the bottom whenever we bring this back in. So that's one thing I always want to make sure that I have clicked. Okay, now we're going to right click on the title editor again, click title editor, and we're going to go to ticker two and we're going to go to settings. Now I'm going to call this very important breaking news and then I'm going to put a uh, uh, then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to start another line and I'm going to put information you need to know then I'm going to go up here again under the ticker settings I'm going to click on that and this time we do want it coming from the left but the speed that we want is going to be, I'm going to make it a little bit faster than one. Let's go ahead and click the drop down menu and let's go to two and see what that looks like. So we're going to back out of it. And now you can see the very important breaking news shows up and then information you need to know is right behind it. So now you can see that we have the top line, which is going left to right with a ticker and the bottom line, which is going bottom to top with another ticker. So we're going to go ahead and bring this in and you can see the two tickers. Very important breaking news is coming up in the gray area. And then underneath of it, we have those different elements that we put in that's talking about the main information on location reporter, detailed information, eyewitness reports, and then on location reporter. Okay, so you can see how that was very easy to put together. All we did was create several uh, rectangles, and then inside those rectangles, we brought in the ticker function. Uh, then once we brought in the tick ticker function, uh, then we created uh, this breaking news that we put over top of the last rectangle that we built. We used the gradient to do this, and we've, we've done this before in other tutorials. And then what we did is we brought this graphic into a vMix, and then using the vMix title editor, we made adjustments to the ticker settings to have one going left to right and the other one going top to bottom. That's going to conclude our tutorial today. This was episode 93, One Man Stream Q&A. And we had uh, Jose Belisle ask for a newsroom style ticker. And that's exa exactly what we did. 
Uh, if you have a moment, please stop by our online store at onemanstream.com. That's where we have the graphics that we create uh, when we do these tutorials along with many of the vmix utc controllers as well and they're just a few dollars a piece but it is a way to help out and help support one man stream i've also put some one man stream merchandise up there as well i have some t-shirts and mouse pads and for the entire month of april if you order a t-shirt i'll send you a free mouse pad and again that is one man stream Com. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And as always, thank you so much.